a very unusual surgical presentation of the entire capsule of back vanishing for no reason a 2.8 mm posterior limbal entry hpmc in the anterior chamber pinpoint tunnel floor entry technique of the capsular axis the chamber remains rock steady the no striae and the cornea no skip of hpmc during the cystotome makes life very comfortable in doing a good rexis even in the proximal rexis you don't have any difficulty the tunnel is enlarged to 5.2 mm note that there is a frill of conjunctiva present at the proximal end of the tunnel this is a modified hydrodissection cannula of 27 gauge which makes uh, the hydrodissection extremely ergonomic nucleus is rotated along with the epinucleus into the anterior chamber by cartwheeling ensure that the entire nucleus is in the anterior chamber because the tunnel is of small size less than 6 mm i need to trisect the nucleus so as to not to damage the tunnel while extracting the nucleus the first piece of nucleus is visco expressed guided by the wire vectors nucleus comes to the center nucleus is pretty hard but yet it can be bisected with the 26 gauge cannula the hard central part of the nucleus is again removed visco is injected through the cannula continuously so as to maximally protect the endothelium at no point of time the nucleus touches the endothelium cortex is aspirated gently with the simco cannula suddenly the entire material comes out and i was surprised to see very clear view without any cortex being present i suspected that capsular bag might have come out i filled the chamber there is no vitreous in the anterior chamber and the pupil i tried to pull the iris out to see if there is capsule which it can be identified by the excess margin to my horror i don't see any capsular bag or excess margin i suspected that the capsular bag must have come out entirely during the cortical expression i decided to implant a retro iris iris fixation i oil that's my favorite lens of the three approaches one is anterior chamber kelman lens and the second is uh, the scleral fixation and the third is iris fixation this is very easy very comfortable very safe and hyaluronal phase is not entered at all here the hyaluronal phase is intact there is no vitreous loss so i could uh, take the lens comfortably behind the iris and enclave using the 28 gauge cannula i fill the chamber with viscoelastic it's bound to come out through the open tunnel but yet we can comfortably enclave the haptic using the 28 gauge cannula the visco is aspirated completely it is stuck on the back of the cornea which is aspirated this technique gives excellent visual results no need to bandage the eye rehabilitation starts immediately thank you